Number 46. Calculate the power output in watts and horsepower of a shot putter who takes 1.2 seconds to accelerate the 7.27 kilogram shot from rest to 14 meters per second while raising it 0.8 meters. All right. So let's start with the question. What are they asking us to calculate? They're asking us to calculate power. Okay. So we're thinking about maybe one of these three power formulas over here on the right-hand side. So now two of them involve time, and they also do give us a time, right? So therefore, I'm down to these two now. And then they're saying that this right shot is being accelerated from rest to a certain speed. It's also being raised a certain height. So it sounds like energy, right? I mean, kinetic energy, potential energy. So I'm probably going to choose, not probably, I am going to choose this equation, all right, to work with. So I know that in order to calculate power, I need to find the change in energy that the shot experiences and divide it by the time it takes for the change for that particular change in energy to occur. So I'm going to expand on the uh, energies in the problem. I basically already mentioned what they are, right? Since there's a velocity and a height, I'm basically talking about changing not only the shot's kinetic energy, but also its potential energy. Okay, so also its potential energy. And that's going to be all divided by the time. So expanding that a little more, change in kinetic energy can be rewritten as 1 half m times Vf squared minus Vi squared. Okay, Change in potential energy can, can be rewritten as mg then times the final height minus the initial height. All right, great. And this now should all be over time. Okay, so I think we have enough information. We need to plug it all in and just solve, right? Fairly straightforward. So 1 half, well, let me leave enough room here, right? So we got 1 half times the mass. So what's the uh, mass of the shot? So 7.27 kilograms, okay? Multiplied by another final velocity. They said it reached 14 meters per second. So that's 14 squared minus 0 squared because it uh, originally started at 0. Plus then the mass again. Obviously, I could have done some algebra to simplify this a little bit, but it's fine. Times g, which was 9.8. Not which was, but which is. And then the height, right? The final height, it, raised, it was, I'll assume that it started at zero and therefore it was, uh, it was risen or it had risen to 0.8 meters. So therefore this is 0.8 and then it's minus zero. Okay, now remember this whole thing is gonna be divided by the time and I really ran out of a lot of room, but the time down here is 1.2 seconds. Okay, so let's simply now calculate. So. 0.5 times 7.27 times 14 squared plus 7.27 times 9.8 times 0.8 all divided by 1.2. So we got 641. Okay, 641 and that is watts. Okay, that's the power. Easy enough. Now they wanted to know horsepower. So simple conversion. Start with writing the watts, so 641 watts. We have to know the relationship between watts and horsepower, namely that for every one horsepower, it's 746 watts. Okay, so the watts cancel, and leaving me with horsepower. And now all it is is 641 divided by 746. And we get a value of about 0 0.859, right? 0 0.859 horsepower. And that would be the final answer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out tremendously. It also allows us to reach more students just like yourself. And uh, I would thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it so very much. And um, look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.